Tonight, another major fentanyl bust in New York City. State and federal agents wheeling out pill presses like this from a Bronx home. This type of equipment often used to make pills laced with fentanyl. I'm baffled. I am truly baffled with everything that's going on here. Senior law enforcement sources telling NBC New York four men are under arrest in connection with the ongoing investigation. Just three doors down, a daycare center. They live right next to, um, uh, what is that, uh, like a head start? And, you know, it's like three buildings down. Come on, that's crazy. This bust coming just weeks after the tragic death of one-year-old Nicholas Domenici at a different Bronx daycare after officials say he was exposed to fentanyl. <laughs> Nicholas's father breaking down as he held up a photo of his son. We are really emotional because we remember every single detail from this tragic day. It's really hard to us. Investigators say six kilos of fentanyl, heroin, and other controlled substances were found under this trap door at the daycare concealed under a padded mat where children napped, including Kiara and Abel Garcia Pena, seen in this photo taken prior to the incident. I'm on. The eight-month-old and the two-year-old were among the three children who were also exposed and rushed to the hospital. Bueno, me siento bien angustiosa. I'm very upset. Bien mal porque pienso I lo feel mismo, very lo sick mismo, because lo I mismo. think about it every day that it's the same thing, the same de thing. Día, de noche, un rato day and night, bien, un rato moment I'm mal. okay, moment I'm not okay. What we have to do is make sure that this never, ever, ever happens again to another child. The daycare's operator, Gray Mendez, her husband, Felix Herrera Garcia, and brother-in-law, Carlisto Brito, appearing before a Bronx judge yesterday all pleading not guilty and have been held without bail. The Bronx District Attorney announcing a grand jury has indicted all three for Nicholas's murder, among other charges. Our sorrow is matched only by the outrage because these babies were used as shields to protect a narcotics operation. Nicholas's death was entirely, excruciatingly needless unavoidable. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.